Hi, so you are a soprano voice type. How did you come to that conclusion? Or you are an alto voice type. How did you come to that conclusion? Think about it for a minute. Did you know that not being in the proper voice type or group, let's say for instance in choir, you are supposed to be an alto singer but maybe you don't know what makes an alto singer and you're sitting with the soprano voices in the choir. Did you know that by doing that, you're gonna get a poor general result of the whole group singing? and i'll explain why i'll talk about the female voice types okay so normally the range for an alto voice is from f so it's an f3 this is the lowest range right f3 a contralto or alto voice both names are the same should be able to reach this note all right and then the highest note is okay so this is the range of an alto voice but within the range there's what we call tessitura tessitura doesn't reach the highest and doesn't even reach the lowest because on stage when you are singing you wouldn't want to hit the highest range and you wouldn't want to hit your lowest range you want to play safe because that would be like pushing it too far okay so tessitura is a range within your range that you're most comfortable singing or you sing with most of the time okay it's like having a headroom yeah that's another word for it so you're leaving headroom at the top so even though you can reach this In singing you may want to just you know make your highest note maybe three notes below that and the same with the lowest note um, instead of going oh which is your lowest note on stage you may want to go this low maybe um, three notes before that also oh, now here's the thing when you begin to reach your highest range or your highest notes your voice begins to get thinner and low in volume and it's not your fault at all it's just the way sound works okay what do i mean if this is your highest note it's most unlikely you can hit this or sing this with your full voice so what you may get is something lighter yes yeah, something lighter something really not full and that's what makes you an alto singer because even though you can reach this range it's not really with a full voice all right now if you are an alto singer sitting with the sopranos you may not provide the tone needed all right when it is needed what do i mean there's a part in the song of the song where everything gets louder right And as a soprano voice, you are expected to sing it with a strong, powerful, full voice. That's where the problem is. If you are an alto singer, when you reach your tessitura, uh, go beyond your tessitura, close to your highest um, note, your voice begins to get really light. And that's a proof that you are not a soprano voice. Only the soprano voices can sing this note full. In, with a full tone which is what is required in a choir all right or from soprano voices around here okay the reason for this is that vocal cords are of different sizes thicker longer or shorter or thinner 
that doesn't change you may extend your range with some fantastic modern exercises fine that's okay extend your range but something you can't change is your natural voice because of what i just read your vocal cords come in different sizes and thickness and that's what determines your voice so even though with technique you can reach higher tones your natural voice remains your natural voice now let's go to the soprano a soprano voice goes from c middle c which is c c4 that's the lowest range and they should be able to hit this note comfortably so if you can't sing this note you're probably not a soprano voice so um there are two kinds of voice type that sing soprano in choirs okay one is soprano voices yeah which goes from here the lowest range to here c6 c4 to c6 the highest range now the other type of soprano is a mezzo soprano and a mezzo soprano the highest note is close to the soprano's highest note um but just three notes short so this is their notes okay and that is a five a five and their lowest note is uh, okay so that's mezzo soprano but in choirs they sing together they sing the soprano the part given to soprano voices together so in choir they're all called sopranos okay if you sit in your proper voice type you're gonna sing comfortably all the time and you're gonna it's, remember it's a teamwork as a group as a choir it's a teamwork so if one voice type falls short it's gonna affect the whole tone so just imagine um, the soprano comprises alto singers who think they are sopranos what's gonna happen is when we get to the loud part of the music where the energy is high what's gonna happen is the tenor voices are gonna sing uh, full tone right because that's that range is natural to them the outer voices the correct outer voices are gonna sing a full tone but then the soprano voices who um, which comprises alto voices who actually think the soprano voices are gonna sing like a, a breathy kind of tone and that it uh, sounds weak that sounds soft and sounds low in volume yes and at the end of the day they're gonna be submerged their sound is gonna be weak like under while the other ones are full and that's that's not gonna create um the balance needed for the whole group so it's a teamwork an alto voice is an alto voice because of your vocal cords the thickness the length the height of your vocal cords that would never change even if you extend your range for example your talking voice would never change no matter how much you extend your range and that tells you your voice type never changes so also a soprano singer may not know they have a soprano voice type and maybe currently singing with the altos thinking they're altos right maybe because of fear or anxiety or lack of knowledge they always sit so comfortably with the um, altos I've had some instances where um, this has happened and when I do exercise with them and help them figure out their voices they found out that they can reach actually incredible range easily with their vocals and that's how we discover they're actually soprano voice so sometimes it's all about the mind and most times you just pick keys that are really low or sit in voice types that are really really low and that's so uh, common when we come to female voice types that's the reason i just wanted to um talk about the female voice types today when we all sit in our proper voices we get the maximum exceptional result when everybody sing together remember team work team work i hope you learned a lot from this and i'll be seeing you in the next video bye